What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius, back at it again with some more One Piece, continuing the journey. This time we are doing episodes 5 through 8. Now, unlike other shows, I'm going to do my best to not read the titles, to not spoil myself, because with Naruto, One Piece, and a lot of older animes, the titles were the descriptions on cable and on TV, so we really had to give away a lot, so they are very spoilery. So I'm going to try not to read them, but we we're doing five through eight. I know we just ended off with Luffy and Zoro running into Nami and in the process of her stealing the map to the Grand Line. So that's very exciting after Zoro joined our crew. So I'm very, very, very excited to find out what happens next and to get into this Grand Line, find the One Piece treasure. Just so you guys are aware, if you guys want early access and full length to this show and all the other shows i'm watching we have early access all that available on the patreon links are down in the description down below like always you guys can also watch it full length with me over at twitch great community great vibes come on check over the twitch twitch.tv slash dapper darius follow all the other social medias instagram tiktok twitter all at dapper darius much appreciated y'all let's hop right on into this one piece episodes five through eight let's do this boss you came to save me huh oh yeah she's she's one of okay she's one of those girls not afraid to throw her issues onto some poor innocent boy we almost just lost his hat I think some of the creativity with some of the powers in this world and in the show are going to be just beyond imagination. We already have a rubber man, you know? Nami, yep. And she specifically feel, steals from pirates. Interesting. Captain Buggy, he looks like a clown, but I guarantee you he could probably whoop some ass. I kind of like the crossbones on his face. <laughs> Look at all the... Oh yeah, he did. He did eat a devil fruit power. What is his power? He can force choke people. Okay, Darth Buggy, chill out. He's a flashy death. So he's Tengen, Darth Buggy. I was under the impression there were only like seven or eight devil fruit out there in existence. So the fact that they're introducing two this early in the show is kind of crazy. Moral gray area. Uh, it's still a thief. A thief is a thief. He's not wrong. Map of the Grand Line is that expensive? But he's like, whoa, map to the Grand Line. Oh, this is why we're going to need you on the squad. Yeah, as soon as you mentioned pirate, that's when she's like, no, what the hell? Money and tangerines, very specific, but I can already tell there's going to be some backstory about why she hates pirates and only steals from pirates. I don't, I don't know. I don't... He is such a happy-go-lucky dude. I pray to one day be as happy and go lucky as him. Now, is this going to be some sort of long, long con, or is she actually turning on Luffy right now? So, I think she is doing a long, obviously a long, long con, but it's not for Luffy. Like, she has no interest in getting him freed. She was using him to further her own ends, join Buggy's crew. But, I'm curious. Alright, I respect it. Wait, at the I know all the residents left. It's evacuated. They made so I'm happy about that. But we're just gonna be destroying houses and buildings and okay, that's quite the buggy ball. Talk about some devastation. Yeah, See, this man's all happy in games when he's winning, but he is he's a cold-hearted man. So with his buggy balls and his devil power. The devil fruit power. That's where Luffy has to step in. He's going to be the king of pirates. Yep. There we go.
Okay, you have the chance, yeah. And yeah, because we opened our mouths, now he wants to test your loyalty. Testa wants to prove it. Makes a perfect opportunity, I don't know. Now, we've seen Luffy absorb some bullets and some crazy physical objects, but can he withstand that? Even got the buggy matches. This man needs to start making merch. Calling her out. Very true. Half ass resolve. Damn. That struck a chord. <laughs> One of those oh she can put them together into like a staff all right staff wielder now you just outed yourself but no yeah there's no way you can get out of this pirates took the life of a person dear to me mm-hmm already getting teases of her backstory She's burning the hell out of her hands. Normally a fuse wouldn't be that hard to put out, but it's a special buggy cannon, so who knows? And those were buggy matches. Here comes the main man himself, Zoro. Yep, he'll stop that. That's how Nami though, burning the I hate burns personally, so burning the hell out of her hands to do that. <laughs> Hurry up and get me out of here. Now we can have a major team up and let's go against Buggy. Let's do it. <laughs> when he makes his voice all high like that, it's so funny. People that lick their knives are always weird. I've never, I've always thought that was weird. I'm cool when you put it in your mouth like that, but don't lick it. Oh, wow. I saw some limb separation right there. Oh, oh. I know they might be censoring it because it's older, but I feel like I would... No? I mean, okay. No, yeah, he's not He's not being killed that easily. But, so what is his devil fruit? Can he force choke people out and force pull his limbs together? What the hell? Oh, yeah. Ooh, wow. The chop chop fruit? Are you serious? Who can't be cut? Yeah, says says the rubber man. Yeah, this is what happens when you underestimate someone. Yeah, Zoro's badass, but we're going against some crazy ass pirates with some crazy ass powers. There, that is pretty dishonorable. And he called him Big Nose, so you know Buggy's not gonna like that. That's not going to affect Luffy because no physical attack can. Oh. <laughs> or he'll literally. Okay. <laughs> Luffy just does not care. That is kind of a horrible area he got stabbed in. Have faith in your captain. Come on. Have faith in your captain. <laughs> That man is brolic. Where are we pointing that to? Back at Buggy and the rest of them? Still got those Buggy matches. <laughs> okay. That's some One Piece right there. That, that's some One Piece right there. Way to leave it on a cliffhanger <laughs> like that. Okay.
All right, on to episode six. Here we go. Talk about a buggy ball. That shit looks like a Kamehameha. It looks like a, an energy beam, like it's that crazy. <laughs> We're not all assholes. You'll learn with everything. There are good and bad, you know? Moji. What the hell? Oh, we're about to kill those. He says he's about to kill Zoro. I don't know about if that's happening. What are you trying to make the dog laugh? Oh, that would have been very handy before. No, oh, she did. She just get it. I was about to say before Zoro carried it all the way over here. Oh, hell no. Nah, sorry. I'm either digging in your throat, grabbing that. I'm not waiting until you shed. I'm, I'm, nah, I'm, I don't know. Got it. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> That's me right there for sure. Just straight choking the dog out of the You mother. Did he die? Did he leave? So the dog still guards over the shop even though his owner died? I have heard stories of dogs doing that. They're the, one of the most loyal creatures out there. Why are we getting this sad backstory for Choo Choo in this, in this pet food shop? <laughs> now we must protect this dog with our life. Look how adorable he is. Choo Choo. And uh, Choo Choo won't get out of the way if someone threatens his treasure, so... Yeah, give him the key back and maybe we can help you with it, because look at this fucking thing. <laughs> Richie. And here we go. We're out. So let's have my man Luffy go off. Oh! Where she's got some strength and some speed. Nah, nah, no. <laughs> You'd be shocked. <laughs> Valid point. <laughs> he just keeps repeating what they're saying, answering with a question. Poor baby. Look how adorable he is helping out grabbing some food. Yeah, shoo shoo, best boy. Good dog. Nah, yeah. Best boy. God damn! Don't just cut from an adorable shot to you yeeting the fuck out of this dog. All down the fort. Aww. My heart. We gotta... If Shushu dies, I don't know. We need to protect him with everything we can. Oh, wow. That's... And I actually destroyed it, too. And Luffy would relate to that. A memento of his loving master. Ergo, the straw hat to Luffy. A memento of his loving master. Luffy, if you don't whoop some ass now because of this. Oh! Gum gum hammer. That was insane with the momentum it can build up from that super twist. Jumps over. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I peacefully apologize to you. Like, it's a little late. You deserve that at the minimum. 
That is so fire how you can do that. Oh, I love how it emphasizes that shot, too. <laughs> One last thing to th remember, one last little bit, no matter how small it may be, you know. See, that's a, that's a dope shot right there. <laughs> uh, dogs are special creatures, man. We don't deserve them. So understanding. I love an old man are spur spurred on by young actions, you know? He feels inspired. And he's not going to let all that hard work be taken up by, by Buggy. This town is his treasure. Come on. Fuck yeah. This is a good little arc. I like this arc so far. If he destroys his whole town, ooh, we're gonna need to kill Buggy. Come on, man. <laughs> yeah, that actually would kill someone. Zoro's a legend, obviously. Nami's like, what? Who? What two people are you guys? You guys are fucking maniacs. <laughs> I respect it. <laughs> the outfit he's wearing looks like it's like a fit you'd have in like Elden Ring. I love it. <laughs> I, I pray that man doesn't die. <laughs> Hell yeah. We're gonna sway Nami, have her join the squad. Yep. See? She needs still needs a little swaying, but we'll get there. We'll get there. Fair enough, we can do that for now. A little temporary alliance. I didn't realize that was what he was doing when he was force choking the other people earlier. He was using his actual hands. I didn't realize that. All right. What? My man Luffy steps in. I I think him and Zoro are going to team up against Buggy. Is it going to be 2v1? Is How are we going to do this? I'm excited. And we got Nami here as well. And that's where it's going to be to be continued. It makes sense. It makes sense. <laughs> Cuz, oh man, we got to fight. Nah. Luffy said it himself. He likes you. He will absolutely not let you die. I like you as well. Luffy's kind of a tough love kind of guy. I've started to see that over the last few episodes. Like with Kobe, he kind of beat the shit out of him, you know, to prove the point. He... He's kind of, he's definitely a tough, he calls people out when, he, when they need to. He wasn't, you know. That did it. That's how you start that. He's going to be able to absorb it like a cushion and then repel it back. Well, that is a plan that works. Oh, he used he used little henchman as a a body shield. With I was like, why does he have four hands? But he had him cross. But then that's kind of cool. I like that. <laughs> I kind of like that. Yeah. <laughs> Kabaji. So this Kabaji guy seems strong. So is it going to be 2v2, Kabaji, Buggy, Zoro, Luffy? Hit 
Damn, they're playing kickball with this guy. Oh my god. Okay, unicycle man. Makes a lot more sense now in terms of the 2v2 fight. Kobaji, unicycle swordsman versus Zoro. Old man arsonist. That is such a dirty move. Lights his face on fire just to kick him right in his injury. That is dirty. But they are pirates, so you can't expect a clean fight, obviously. Roranora Zoro. let him do that why yeah why didn't you dodge it he's doing this on purpose to give him that big of a handicap oh pretty gangster true i guess anyone who says he's a swordsman this would be like a personal challenge from zoro so he needs to know that he's better than you giving you a handicap is a good way to do it I mean, I definitely agree. I don't know about the treasure. The treasure's always nice, some funds. We definitely need to get that map. Is this where we're ending our alliance right now? <laughs> okay, good luck. The dance of a hundred kamikaze tops. Now I've seen Hunter Hunter. I know those tops can be dangerous. What kind of names are this guy's techniques? Fireworks and a cool summer breeze. Nice. Good help. Good dodge. Right? Let's do this. Let's do this somewhat honorably. You got a you got another devil fruit user to fight. Don't worry. Buggy's got some funds. This man is faded. <laughs> Turns into a staff. Bonk, he's out. Way to use your resources uh, when necessary, Nami. I don't think he's given up. I am curious, though, what he's going to do for his, like, whether it's an ace up his sleeve or pushing past his limits or a final move, you know? Crappy-ass acrobatics. With my real sword skills. Like, those were fake earlier. Onigiri? What are we making? Rice balls with seaweed? That was clean. I've always seen that stance with a lot of like Zoro pictures, you know, where he like has his two swords like this going up and then, ooh, it looks so fire. He's like, nah. He is out for the count though. I feel him. Man's needs to heal up. <laughs> now that's what I'm excited about. Seeing that crazy voyage, seeing what the grand line looks like, seeing what crazy villains, new people we're going to see there. And he's so dead serious about that, too. Shanks? My man knew Shanks? Like, well, what, do you know or do you don't know? Are you a fucking idiot? Like, it's a simple question. <laughs> Chop, chop. Oh, we can separate his feet. I forgot about that. Smart play. Being able to move in midair by doing that. It's kind of like Naruto, how he can make a shadow clone midair to pick him up and throw him, you know? I always love creativity like that. 
<laughs> oh, see, they're kind of a crazy match for a fight because they both have just crazy OP powers, you know. Uh oh. It's our first time seeing him bleed. Man, this is getting serious. Oh, he made a slit in the hat. Our prized treasure. I get that. That's the thing when it comes to people that are happy go lucky, like Luffy, you know, and Meliodas. Once you push them to the point where you make them snap, then it's like really scary, you know? Hmm, this is a good this is a good play from Buggy though. Distract him while you can do that from the back, all kinds of angles, you know? And then come in for like a stab. Wait, I I thought our straw hat stays normal. I didn't know he sh what? Damn. Think of the sacrifice that man made. That is a dope hat, you know. You're only tied to him. Right now is being a nah. He might snap. Yeah, look at how mad he is. By buggy side? <laughs> Not what I was expecting at all. Is that the story we're going to get? That backstory? Ooh, see? I need to know why. I need this backstory. And this is where it's going to end it. Yep. For the rest of my life. And it's going to be next episode where they tell us. Alright, I'm starting to get a feel for it. Yep. To be continued. Alright, on to episode 8. Again, not looking at titles. I'm excited. Here we go. Flashbacks already. What the hell? <laughs> That's what they're arguing about. The Bucky's been about that bag since he was a youngin. I get it. He's he. That's all he wants. He's been consistent. He wants that bread. He was already being somewhat shady. I mean, is it shady? I don't know. We'll see. So, definitely shady. He's hiding it from at the very minimum shanks, everyone else, you know? You love to see it. You love to see it. Love to hear it. That is what pirates do. I want to see them fight. I want to see Shanks fight. But he's armless now. He's still probably so badass. They're incarnations of the sea devil. Oh, sea devil. Curious about that. I want to start to get into some mythological stuff too. World building is nuts, you know. <laughs> so he heard that and said, I'm immediately doing it. But he was hiding also the results. Oh. Oh. So now he's going to... Wow. Kind of deceptive, but kind of smart. You got that and the, uh, the treasure map. You're such a, you're such a dumbass. <laughs> and now we can't swim. This fucking dude. Yeah, drowning is one of the worst ways to go out, you know, in my head. It's one of my worst feared ways of dying, so I feel him. But if that's the story we're getting, that's not what I was expecting. I thought you already had it, Shanks. I know, so Shanks saved you, and he was just trying to talk to you, and you just fucking... Uh -oh. 
I get that. I get why you'd be frustrated, but that is completely not his fault. Oh, Luffy kicked his nuts on his body. Had to have. He left his body. He left his body right in the open, straight open for a nut shot. Oh, you could just tell. In anime, when they make that face and they squinch up like that, it's a nut shot. My balls. My my buggy balls. Leave that treasure. Ah, uh, that is true. You know. That is the one thing she wants, though. But. I'm not sure that's how the way it works, but hey. He's in Luffy's like, oh, it all fits. Logic. He's like the good old finder's keeper's clause. I've heard that in the ancient, <laughs> ancient manuscript. His entire body. What are you going to do? He cuts himself on onion rings. He's going to tickle him. <laughs> what? Coochie, coochie, coo. God damn. Now that was a good kick. That was a good kick. All the treasure went flying out though. Damn. <laughs> I wonder if he's out out. Looks like he's out out. What happened to the to the middle section? Is that what Nami just ran and did? Are we holding him hostage or why does he look like that? He looks like a Yu-Gi-Oh card. Yep. Good thinking. That was good thinking. It's like how we dealt with Ukan somewhat in uh, Ranking of Kings. I love that. Just wind it back. Cog it back as far as we can. <laughs> I love that. Team Rock Team Buggies blasting off again! Damn. His hat really got pummeled. You can fix it. That's nice of you. It's the only compliment we can give him. 10 mil. And she's willing to give that up as well. Shouts out Nami being friendly already. <laughs> so this is what we're going to do. She's not a pirate. She's only teaming up with us temporarily just for profit's sake. Why would you say that, Luffy? You could just get away with not saying that. I know. Yes. The mayor is going to become conscious and tell him that they're the good kids. Come on. <laughs> no, this guy, I tell you. <laughs> Zoriel's like, this kid is a really fucking dumb. So we're actually just running. We're just leaving on... <laughs> <laughs> that's like when i'm on gps or i'm driving and my friends are on gps they say turn when we're already damn near past the turn is he gonna be our line of defense is he gonna help us out shouts out shushu that is the most human voice actor for a dog i've ever heard but it actually fits pretty well like i don't think i could bark that good wah wah shouts out shushu Now, let me see the grand line. I'm probably still mad episodes away, but I am hyped. I'm trying to go. I'm trying to set sail. <laughs> we know he's appreciative and grateful. We know how cool the mayor is. I can bet you in this show... There's going to be a lot of situations like this where we're kind of setting off to sea and someone's on the dock. Wait! Thank you! 
You know, like, there's gonna be so many situations like this, I can already tell. That's the man right there. Come on. Damn you youngins. There's something about old men in anime, bro. I love it. I think my guy is the reason I love old men in, in anime. The And he, they left the treasure too? Shouts out to them. <laughs> the, the, the passion of youth, as my guy would say. Shouts out Nami. Shouts out Luffy. <laughs> that is hilarious. I could see how people would say this is like a, a good wrap up little episode. This is a good episode to end this little session on. That was a good little arc. The little buggy arc. Okay. What are we going next? A little, oh, okay. Usapsa. 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 Okay. I'm excited. I'm excited. That felt, that felt dope. That was cool. All right. Talk about a bunch of episodes. We had... It was all this little buggy arc from episodes five through eight. I love a good little mini arc. I thoroughly do. And I must say for this little town that we visited, it was, we got some great story, some great teases at story, got some great action, some great moments, some hilariosity, and obviously the best dog that we could have gotten so far, Shoo Shoo. But Nami said a pirate killed someone dear, near and dear to her. I'm sure we're going to get that story. I cannot wait. She seems like a character who is going to be one of those hard shell on the outside characters, but uh, has a heart of gold. As we can tell, she was able to be empathetic towards us and our actions towards Shushu and stuff like that. And she, was, she wants to help us out with the grand line and with the hat. Like she seems like a cool, she seems like a cool gal. Buggy. <laughs> I was not expecting him to have chop chop powers uh his story with shanks was super interesting about how he was trying to deceive them and i thought it was going to be a lot more nefarious for shanks but shanks is still the goat you know he had to swallow <laughs> i've never once had something and someone walk in use my mouth as a hiding spot you know but hey i guess but <laughs> thoroughly enjoying this the music has been fantastic so far you know the characters great the voice acting super killer uh the action set pieces the buggy ball uh, i'm excited very much so to see more devil fruit powers to see more story to see more world building i think is the biggest thing for me especially when shanks was talking about how the devil fruit i mean that i know the devil fruit is called has the word devil in it but i didn't think there were actually holistic beings in this world you know like the devil like god like beings or totally could be and i would be down you know like I don't go into shows thinking that it's going to be magical on that level, but shows like Black Clover, Mushoku Tensei, like there's a lot of shows where I'm like, whoa, we can really get crazy with it, you know, so I'm down. I'm here for it. Overall, great episodes. So glad we got a navigator. Technically not a part of the squad yet, but I'm sure she will be soon. Next part member of the squad, I can already tell, going to be the man Usap, Usap-san. So I'm super excited about that. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments down below. If you guys want to watch this live with me, come over and check out the Twitch, twitch.tv slash DapperDarius. If you guys want early access and full length as well, check out the Patreon. Links for everything are in the description down below. Don't forget to check out the other social medias, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, all at DapperDarius. Don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Much appreciated, y'all. Peace out.